So ladies and gentlemen, it's a different topic today. Many of you guys have asked me uh, regarding my last five years of experience with Europe and especially Germany. And so many events have happened uh, in the last three to six months, I guess, in this world, uh, which has forced people to inquire about different countries and different cultures, different continents, especially about their situation or their outlook or their approach towards racism. Okay. So many people have asked me also that, is Germany racist? <laughs> have you faced racism in Germany or in any other European country? What would be my opinion? Okay. So, well, I would say, uh, once I heard this actually, that everybody is racist. Indians are racists. Americans are. Germans are. Japanese, Chinese, everybody is. I am a racist, you are also. But uh, the only difference is in the degree you see. So wh what is racism? Basically, basically racism is a failure to uh, see people at a spiritual level as the Bhagavad Gita says, where Lord Krishna says, you know, you are not this body, you are spirit soul. So when we fail uh, to see human beings and even animals uh, at, that, at that level, then we start discriminating. Uh, somebody is uh, white, somebody is black, somebody is dark, you know, somebody is light. <laughs> somebody is uh, short, somebody is tall, somebody is young, somebody is old. Uh, somebody is American, somebody is Indian. So that we, we, uh, racism is a product of a superiority complex, basically. Of course, there's hatred towards certain communities. It could be I mean, uh, from one community towards another. But the thing is, uh, it's a product of superiority complex. That, that is all that racism is, uh, which is basically a lack of spiritual identity. Because uh, if you know the truth of the scriptures, then you're very well aware that you and somebody else, they are a part and parcel of God, as the scriptures say. And therefore... Depending on our karma, some of us are born in India, some of us are born in Germany, some of us are born in US, but it doesn't mean that somebody is superior to somebody in some form. Okay? So therefore, uh, that's what racism is. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation, you'll find my website down below in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look for him and you'll find him. Now, I had gone to <clears throat> Germany in the year 2015, April, I guess. Yeah, so I had gone for my master's in the George August University of Göttingen. Uh, it's there in center of Germany, almost like center. The name of the state is Niedersachsen in German and in English it's Lower Saxony. And my program was Applied Computer Science. So I had done my bachelor's in SRM University uh, in India, South India, Chennai, uh, Katankula to campus. Uh, from, uh, and then I went to uh, Germany, to Göttingen University. I had got admitted for another university. The name of the university is uh, TU Darmstadt, Technical University of Darmstadt. And the program name was Distributed Software Systems. But I thought that will be very difficult for me. So I did not opt for that program. And the program where I was selected earlier, Göttingen, that was quite similar to my, um, my bachelor's also. Because my bachelor's was in software engineering, not computer science, which is a big mixture of CSE and MBA. So that's the background, you see. Now, uh, when it comes to Germany, so first I landed on... I landed in Frankfurt, International uh, Frankfurt Airport. And then from there, uh, I had gone to Gottingen by a train. My elder brother was there, luckily, to accompany me. And then I didn't have a house there, a home. I didn't have an apartment, as they call Wohnung in German. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in fact, um, what I had heard about Germany was that uh, people, were, people are very... Uh, they're not very much welcoming of foreigners. This is what I had heard. Uh, but in my limited experience, 
I have not seen that to be true. Neither have I seen the other one being true. Okay, the other one is, you know, they are very much welcome. I have not even seen that. So you know, I think in my experience of last five years, Germany is currently in that, in my limited experience. Okay. Now, again, disclaimer, whatever I'm saying is not out of any statistics or any proof or anything. This is just purely my subjective experience. And I'm not an, some economist or some person regarding this area who you should take advice from. But because you have asked me, I'm sharing my human experience. Okay. So if you want scientific data or statistics, then walk out of this video. You won't find them here. So I had a good experience in Gottingen. So once I saw that uh, there was one person, uh, I had told him that uh, I'm searching for an apartment and I don't have an apartment. So what should I do? Then he said, oh, you can come and stay at my apartment. I was shocked uh, that uh, he just said like this. You know, and then the problem was he then called his wife who stayed in Brazil, I guess. And then she said, no, no, how can you allow somebody like this? You know, then he called me and said, I'm very sorry. My wife is not uh, uh, very much happy to bring you inside. She said that you could stay maybe, but you cannot go inside the bedroom. The bedroom has to be locked. Anyway, she didn't stay there in Germany. She stayed in Brazil, but yet she was very unhappy to hear this. So that was one good experience, I would say. Uh, somebody offering like this of course and then later on also I got an apartment uh, it was from a person his name was uh, Wolfgang Karsupke that was his name and uh, yeah there was a guy a family from Iran staying there in that apartment before this is somewhere uh, July 2015 around that time and then what happened was uh, this Karsupke was the owner and he gave he gave the apartment to me and some one or two other guys they were also looking for it but then uh, he gave it to me and yeah so i stayed in that apartment so uh, i didn't face any kind of discrimination i would say or any kind of biasness there so and then later on i got a student apartment and i shifted there so there also i did not face any discrimination on because of my skin color or because of my religion or because of me being a non-german or being an indian or somebody like this or no special preference because of any reason of course so so i i think uh, in that area also i've been uh, quite lucky and then later on when i had uh, started taking subjects and specialized courses uh, in, uh, in those areas also i had seen the professors were like quite cooperative uh, but yeah, of course, there are so many other problems which I faced was that uh, the professors there in Gottingen University, uh, not all, but some of them who I was connected to, not the senior ones, but like junior professor, assistant professor, you know, beginning of their career uh, or student assistants, some of them, uh, they, uh, I had approached them for help regarding how to choose my subjects and all and uh, I I think I was not very lucky in those lines. <laughs> so it means I had to keep uh, asking my seniors, you know, from India, uh, who were there in Gottingen at that point of time. So they only helped me. Okay. So uh, and uh, these the other the officials and all they I, I unfortunately didn't get much help from their side. No, I'm not blaming or criticizing them, but I'm saying that you may not be lucky every time. And then I got the extension uh, residence permit for one year in 2015 till 2016. So in that also it was decent, I guess, no preference, no discrimination. So, and then of course I continued my masters and in between like three years, four years, I didn't have any bad experience uh, with working in university or with any other German. And when I was in my masters, then I stayed in the student apartment in 2016, 17, and 18. And um, then I had one or two uh, room, uh, this dorm, there was a dormitory where like, uh, it's not dormitory exactly, I don't know how do I say this. It's like, uh, there are apartments with bathroom inside the room. Uh, so in, inside your room, you have a bathroom. 
मतलब किचन वाज आउटसाइड द किचन वाज कॉम ऑफ ओके सो सो इन दैट केस द थिंग वाज दैट बिकॉज द किचन वाज कॉम ऑफ सो अदर गाइस वुड आल्सो कम एंड स्टे दे वुड आल्सो कम एंड कुक एंड आई वाज आल्सो देयर सो दिस थिंग वेंट ऑन एंड इन दैट एरिया आई सॉ देयर वाज सम प्रॉब्लम विद विद अ फ्यू पीपल आई गेस uh i mean not not with me or i didn't have a problem but they had a problem with my cooking <laughs> so what kind of problem they had was that because in indian cuisine uh, especially in north indian or eastern or western cuisine even in south indian i would say you first add you know oil or ghee or butter in the first and then you put you know the spices there and then the aroma spreads everywhere and for some people that Uh, that's not an aroma for you the uh, for you when you add hing uh, to oil then you may feel oh it's smelling so nice you know or you add the red chili flakes it's just uh, it's just <laughs> dancing everywhere but um, unfortunately there were three german girls there i guess uh, so one of her name was marika the other was sisi and the other one i don't remember her name yeah they were very much disappointed with this <laughs> because i generally like to add more spices and cook it uh, with a strong flavor so they were like okay but it's a bit difficult to digest you know on digest i mean not that i used to offer them and they used to have uh, stomach trouble but they couldn't digest the smell of especially this asafati dahing and the red chili and the kadi pattas that green leaf and sometimes the bay leaf would also be a problem so now it was very weird that they used to relish the food which i cooked but uh, so they always used to said you know we like the food that you cook we like indian food but whenever i used to cook and put all this in the oil then it is like it's like they used to go mad that oh, why are you putting so much spices so uh, that was the time i felt a bit that uh, maybe these these three are not very much uh, i won't say supportive but i would say uh, not very accommodative of other cultures but then again there are just three of them and then later on i shifted to another apartment and there there was also a russian girl and um, some guys from africa they were there and yeah that was a quite a good time in 2019 the first Three four months and then finally I got a job in Ingolstadt. I shifted. I changed my city from Gottingen to Ingolstadt. And then I came to Ingolstadt and I got the apartment. So um, I, in in my knowledge, I think uh, I have not faced any severe or you know some uh, direct racism. I would say you know not the oh you are from India and you are like this you are like that get lost you know you won't get this. So I have never faced that uh, in Germany. or oh, i have traveled to so many other countries in europe i have traveled to italy i have traveled to france i have traveled to yeah primarily i would say these three and some other countries as a junction i have passed but i have not stayed so yeah it primarily these three i think i have not faced any direct racism so from germany's perspective from uh, my perspective for germany i would say i didn't face anything very severe or very critical but yeah one thing subtly i always felt that for example uh, so for example like you have a so let's let me give an example so for example in india you know if i am here and um, i am sitting here suppose i was in a college and then uh, one person from germany if that person would be studying in my college then definitely my parents if they would have known then they would have told uh, me to invite them to our function or to our house or something like this but unfortunately i have not seen that level of response from the side of german so it's like uh, so that's like they're at a subtle level i i have faced that now not that i have faced i would say i have felt that <laughs> so this is not something bad that you face you know so it's like you feel feel sometimes so um yeah so we we had a good time with uh, the indians with the pakistanis with sri lankans you know with the indonesians so all the asians were you know it's like we had a very good time uh, of course with uh, our fair share of challenges and difficulties not that everything's easy of course it's very tough there uh, life is much tougher abroad than in india 
So then the thing is, uh, yeah, at a subtle level, I felt so it's like if they would have some um, parties, not parties exactly, some kind of celebration like birthday celebration or something, then uh, uh, they would invite me. But then again, it was like uh, okay. <laughs> So even if I go, you know, you can't speak German there. I mean, of course, I can speak some basic German, a bit of German. Ein bisschen Deutsch. <laughs> well, then I'm not a very, uh, I'm not done some third level, fourth level certification for German. So, yeah, you kind of get a feeling that if you are not surrounded with the Asian community, then you, and this is what most of my friends also from India, they have also said that, uh, they also feel that uh, they are kind of left out, of course. But anyways, I guess uh, that that may not be a problem with Germany. That may be a problem with uh, other countries also. But in general, I'm saying if I if a person from another country would have come to my home, at least my home's atmosphere, that that would have been a different scenario. But now there are other uh, Indian friends who I have met who have said that you know, oh, their family members invited them to. Uh, you know, their German friends, their parents have invited them to Christmas parties, dinners, birthday parties, you know, wedding, anniversary celebration. So I guess it depends on the culture of the family. Uh, but in uh, if I would take uh, an opinion from the majority, then I would say, yeah, that feeling is there, a bit of kind of you know, left out feeling. Not intentionally, but it's like you feel left out at the end of the day. This is what I've seen from most of the people. So these, these uh, this is the only thing I would say, but no, uh, nobody has directly told me or something. Oh, come on, uh, we are not going to invite you or something. You know, who are you? I think nothing like, never ever has that happened. I have had only one bad experience in Europe till now. And this was in the year 2018. Uh, this was in the, uh, yes, this was October 2018. When I had returned from India to uh, go to a Assamese community get together, this was in uh, Vienna, Austria. So there we had a celebration. And so what happened there was I had gone and um, there was this location where the celebration was going on. But by mistake, I got down one stop before from the bus because my Google Maps, it was showing something else and it was a bit confusing. So I thought if I cross it, then maybe I should get down here. But then surprisingly, I got up one stop before. So now it was like a hill and Google Maps was showing like, you know, four kilometers. Now, if it was straight, maybe I would have walked. But going up the hill four kilometers, I thought maybe I should wait for the next bus. So the problem was that was a village. And the bus was only there after two hours, the next bus. Yeah. So then in that case, what happened was, I thought that if I can get help from somebody, somebody could drop me from here to there, uh, then maybe I can uh, go and uh, stay there, uh, go to that place, rather than sitting for two hours unnecessarily. So then I went and I just ring the bell for one or two guys in their houses. And... Uh, surprisingly, uh, these people, uh, they, they, maybe they were doubting that maybe I was a terrorist or somebody. But then what happened is they called the police. Okay. And after 15 minutes of me asking two people, the police was there. And the police, they were there and they were like, rise a pass. <laughs> They asked me the passport and my uh, my residence permit for Germany, and they asked. They, they were like uh, they were very much angry with me, and they were like very much doubting. And they checked all my luggage because I had come directly from India, and uh, I had this luggage, you know, it's like big big luggage I had with all the Indian spices and Indian food inside. So then, what happened was this: the police guys, they two of them were there both were men and they checked uh, me and they checked what money I had you know how much money there was some Indian rupees and then there was euros and yeah and then uh, they asked me that why why are you waiting here you should go I said the bus is up to two hours what should I do 
And then I said, where are you going? And then I showed them from Facebook that this is the location where I'm going. This is three kilometers up the hill. Okay. So yeah, that, yeah. And after that, what happened was I gave all my documents and they checked online that was my residence permit valid or my passport was valid. Everything was valid. I was not a criminal. <laughs> And then they said, okay, we have checked your documents, stay here, then the bus comes, you go. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit weird for me that I was just waiting for the bus and I had just asked somebody, but then, okay, you call the police, it's fine. So that was a very bad experience, which I had in Vienna. And now somebody may be watching this from Austria. Uh, I'm not insulting your country or I'm not insulting uh, your police. I'm, I'm just sharing my experience. Uh, and then uh, it was very weird. Then the next day, the program was over and I came back to Frankfurt, Germany. And something very weird happened again during the journey. What happened was <laughs> uh, I had taken a train from Vienna to Frankfurt. And then I was sitting in the train and suddenly out of nowhere, the train stops. Okay, And for 15 minutes, the train is just stopping it's middle of somewhere middle of nowhere actually or maybe there was a station and then i inquired what the hell is going on because i was very tired i traveled from india and then i stayed in this program and then i was thinking i should get back from frankfurt to Gotting and i need to sleep i was very tired so then i started inquiring what the hell is going on and then suddenly out of nowhere two policemen they come inside the train and they directly come to me and they're asking me, show your passport, show your residence permit. Again, right, I the pass. <laughs> then I had shown them all the documents and I told, I came here and they were like, mm, okay. They gave me the passport and they went out. Immediately the train started. So I was like, wow. <laughs> so I don't know in the whole compartment they it was like uh, they directly came to me and they were asking me and they were checking with me so it was not like as if they were just coming and you know they were like okay you are here so your so he is so her no they directly came to me and then they asked me I don't know why but that was something which I was very surprised that I don't know what I did or maybe they were tracking me from last 36 hours or 24 hours or maybe no, I don't know. It could be anything. It's just my speculation or maybe that they just did some random checks. But this is what I have seen in Europe. This Sometimes sometimes this happens that if, they, if the police, they see some non-European, especially by skin color, um, maybe they assume that this person is not from Europe <coughs> or most likely because Europeans are primarily they're very white in color. So then I have seen that they do these checkings more intensely, maybe because of some security issue or something. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but it feels very weird sometimes, you know, that uh, suddenly the train stops and they come and then they check you. <laughs> but of course, whenever they have checked me or asked me any questions, I have answered them uh, with all due respect and then they have also parted ways. And in Germany, I have never had any encounter with police or with any armed personnel nothing never in my knowledge right so therefore if i talk of europe and italy i have visited once and i didn't have much interaction with italians there but it was nice i would say and france also was i mean i just visited france once so primarily i would say a bad experience in vienna uh, october 2018 and then germany has been quite good so far all right so that's it from my side uh, and there are instances where people have seen you know, racism, they have faced all this. But in my experience, I think I have been quite lucky. I have not, or, or at least directly in the face, I have not faced anything. Okay, so I, I will be very honest. I have not faced there in the last five years. And yes, it's very, it's very nice to know that Germany offers uh, free education for masters. So I am... All of my friends who went from India, we are extremely thankful and grateful to the government of Germany, Deutschland, for giving us the opportunity to study at such prestigious universities like Göttingen University. And so many of my friends there come from India. And after I came, then I helped them to come and finally they are now here and they, they are settled. Some of them are married, they have their jobs. 
and some of them will be then uh, they are planning to take a car or a home and you know settle here or it's like yeah that's it from my side all right so that's the answer germany no vienna question mark <laughs> all right thank you very much for your patience and if you want me to make any other video on such similar topics then please let me know below in the description section or sorry in the comment section i will try to make a video later okay if you're new then please subscribe and consultations are below to my website and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much